All right, here's the next problem. It says we have a 0.48 microfarad capacitor that's connected in series to this resistor. The value of the resistance is five kilo ohms. And there's also an AC source here that has a, an amplitude of two volts. Uh, the AC source has a frequency of 120 hertz. We want to know what are the voltages or the voltage amplitudes across the resistor and across the capacitor. In question B, do the voltage amplitudes that you're going to get here across the resistor and the capacitor, do they add up to give you the voltage across the AC source? And question C, simply draw a phasor diagram that shows the addition of the voltages. All right, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, remember, we want to know the voltages across the capacitor and across the resistor. The voltage across the capacitor, and again, if we're just looking at the maximum value, it's going to be equal to the maximum current in this circuit multiplied by the reactance of the capacitor. In this case, the reactance of the capacitor is simply 1 over 2 pi uh, F multiplied by the capacitance. So we have I max, and the reactance is 1 over omega C, and again, omega is the angular frequency, which is related to the linear frequency. So that's 1 over 2 pi F multiplied by C. So right away, we do have the reactance of the capacitor, but we don't know what the maximum current is. So we'd have to find that first in order to find the voltage across the capacitor. The voltage across the resistor, on the other hand, that's also straightforward. That's the I max multiplied times the resistance, which we know, but we don't know I max again. Therefore, we need to do a little bit of math in order to find I max. What you have to do first in order to find the maximum current in any series a circuit like this, AC circuit, is you have to find the impedance of this circuit. Uh, the impedance of this circuit is simply square root of R squared plus the reactance squared. Oh, and that's the reactance of the capacitor in this case. There is no inductor. So this becomes pretty straightforward. Let me just do one more step here. R squared plus Again, it's kind of a large bracket here because we have a bunch of terms here in the denominator. 2 pi f multiplied by c. And don't forget to square that entire thing. All right, I know all the values here. I know what the resistance is. It's 5 kilo ohms. That's 5 times 10 to the 3. I know the capacitance. Make sure you're working in SI units. And you know the frequency is 120. So just substitute everything in there. At the end of the day, all you're looking for is, is I max. If I know I max, I can then calculate what the voltage across the capacitor is and what the voltage across the resistor is. So I max is the voltage across the source. Again, it's the maximum, which is going to be two, divided by my impedance. You substitute in all the numbers here, and I think you get 3.5 times 10 to the minus four amps. That's our maximum current. You then go through and calculate what VC is. VC is pretty straightforward. Substitute the values, you get my I max divided by 2 pi F multiplied by C. At the end of the day, I think I got 0 0.97 volts, substituting the numbers in there. The voltage across the resistor, on the other hand, substitute both numbers in there. The resistance is 5,000 ohms. I max is what I just calculated down over here, and I get 1.8 volts. All right, so that's it for part A. For part B, do the voltage amplitudes add to give the amplitude of the source? The amplitude of the source is two. So do the voltages add? Well, I'll check it out. Do we have 0 0.97 plus 1.8? Does that equal to two? The answer is no, it does not equal to two. And it doesn't equal to two because these voltages are not in phase with each other. Remember, when we have a resistor and a capacitor, the voltage between both of those are 90 degrees out of phase. So you have to be a little bit careful. So let's draw a phasor diagram now. A phasor diagram for this circuit. 
Again, if we put the voltage of the resistance, we can add this one like this. This is along the x-axis like this. And the voltage across the capacitor, this one, we call this, that's going to be 0.97 volts. The voltage across the resistor is 1.8 volts. And at the end, the maximum voltage from this AC source, what we just calculated here were both components. Uh, this here should give me my two volts, which is the amplitude of the AC source. Okay, this is a pretty standard uh, RC problem driven by an AC source. So make sure you understand this one.